everyone welcome back to another studio vlog and welcome back to another week um it's actually already thursday <laughs> i don't know this week has been kind of weird um last week i was super super pumped and full of energy and then this monday came in and my energy levels have been like down the drain i have no idea what's up i think i was too excited last week <laughs> and I burnt all my energy and I've also been super super anxious I haven't speak about this here only my patrons know about this but I'm actually in the process of buying a house and we are on that part we are waiting for um, approvals and all of that so it has been super super stressful and some weird times so that has been taking a lot of me as well um, and because of that I didn't really felt uh, talking to the camera especially in the beginning of the week and all of that so yeah I just want to let you know how I have been feeling uh, because I feel like I sometimes in these studio vlogs I just do stuff and more stuff and more stuff and I kind of forgot forget to having this moment where I chat a little bit about life and what has been going on so yeah, most of the times I just talk about these things on the podcast because I know a lot of you guys are here just to um, see some business behind the scenes and all that but yeah if you want to hear a little bit more of behind the scenes in all parts of my life um, I talk all about that on my patreon podcasts that I actually need to record one um, but yeah I'll do that later now I I wanted to start drawing some patreon bits you already saw me drawing a little bit of it I think um, I've also been trying to do some sketches in the morning when um, a arriving to the studio like some warm sketches um, to try to draw a little bit more and insert also that part um, in my day-to-day -day life even if it's just a fast um, really bad sketch I really want to start making more of that yeah just get it the creativity going like in the beginning of the day I want to start making the Patreon goodies um, if you are a patron and you don't want to hear anything about this um, please just watch later on this video so um, the theme for this month will be like a little mouse cottage life and I'm super super excited with the theme and all of that and for creating the products um, so already start sketching some little mouses but I still have to stylize them and all of that that. Also, I did a Patreon tutorial yesterday, which was super, super nice and a super fun exercise where I took one animal and I stylized them um, in different ways. I'm going to insert some footage so you can see a little bit of the behind the scenes. I really want my Patreon to be more about illustration um, and all of that. So that was one step forward to that. And my Patreon really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to start sending out my Patreon boxes only every two months. Um, and with between those months I'm going to send only stickers to the deers and bears tier and for the whales I'm still going to send out exclusive pins and then we'll see how it goes um, but yeah the full goodie box like with the mini print sticker sheet or sticker pack big vinyl sticker and the mystery item that I normally send it's going to be only every two months so uh, this month January it will be a full box and then the next full box will be in March and in February I'm going to send out one vinyl sticker for the deers two vinyl stickers for the bears and two vinyl stickers and an exclusive pin for the whales tier and yeah it's going to be nice to have those creative breaks because in the end of last year i was really feeling really really burnt out so yeah i guess we are going to go on the ipad and start drawing the little cute mouses so let's get to work I thought it would be interesting to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I basically create the collection. So the first step normally is to create a Pinterest board. So as you can see, yeah, this is all full of little mouses um, and cottage uh, core vibes. So yeah, this is basically where I will get my inspiration, my ideas, sometimes character poses and all of that. And I've been doing this for all collections uh, lately, which really, really helps and makes a huge um, difference for me. And then I start drawing. Um, this is a little bit of what I mentioned yesterday on the 
tutorial. So when I'm trying to draw something new, especially animals and characters and stuff like that, I always try to draw them realistically just to get a sense of the proportions, the shapes and all of that. So I guess I'm going to be drawing uh, some more poses um, and then I'll try to stylize them and make them cute. So let's go. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> um, it's voiceover Dia over here. I was editing this studio vlog and I realized that I have this really, really big chunk of video that I basically don't talk to the camera. So I thought this might be a good opportunity to come here and chat with you. Let you know, I wanted to film a video about my art goals or goals for this year, but I never did because I was on vacation and then with work and catching up with everything, I basically never did it. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to chat a little bit about that um, and let you know what is my art goals for the year, what I want to improve um, and all of that. So as you can see I have been drawing a lot more and I really want to film it a lot more as well. I don't know, I've been feeling that my videos and since my growth uh, last year it has been a lot of small business related and I'm not saying that is that is bad but I really would like to um, get more art again on my studio vlogs and on my videos making more heart art and being um, having that illustration part being a little bigger presence uh, on my YouTube on my Instagram on my social media and all that kind of things I already spoke about this on my patreon and all of that but i guess what i want to do is trying to shift focus a little bit um and it's kind of scary because i know a lot of you guys discovered my channel not because of my studio vlogs but because of my tutorials and don't worry those will keep coming because i absolutely lo love making them helping you guys um growing your small business um and helping you also save money on materials and all the kind of things um so yeah those will keep coming but i would like to focus a little bit more on the illustration part on my business um and since i've been creating a lot more content for the small business parts and tutorials and how i make products and all that kind of things i feel like i haven't been dedicating um a lot of time to drawing and enjoying uh, illustration and all of that because yeah basically all my content um, was more focused on that part of creating products and all of that so um, yeah I would like to that be a bigger part on my videos and let me know what you think about that as I said all the small business talk and all of that will continue to uh, be here um, but yeah I would like to show you more also of this part of me drawing creating collections uh, creating new characters um, and all of that so let me know what you think about that also regarding all of this um, as you can probably tell one of my goals is to draw a lot more I want to um, have illustration being part of my day-to-day -day life um, and not being something that I just do uh, when I can. Um, I'm basically the only person uh, standing in the way of me doing that so I really want to get more daily drawing and all that kind of things because one of my goals for this year is to improve um, a lot of those things as well like I want to improve characters, uh, I want to improve like how I do animals um, and draw people on different different ages, different ethnicities, uh, improved backgrounds and all that kind of things. Um, and I was feeling that I wasn't improving any of this um, because I was feeling very restricted time-wise because um, basically I was feeling that I needed to finish the illustrations to get the Patreon goodies done, the um, shop collections done and maybe I wasn't finishing them because I needed those things to get going as fast as I could. Um, so I think if I took my time and do things a little bit um, with more 
I don't know, um, have a little bit more organization and all of that. I can do both of them, like I can improve things um, and I can do more complete illustrations and at the same time still do the work that I need and want to do. Uh, so yeah, that's a major goal and I already mentioned that in this video. But yeah, I'm trying to use the creating the Patreon things and the shop collection and all of that to also improve all of those things that I want to improve in my art uh, going forward. So yeah, um, <laughs> I hope this chat is interesting and that you also like to know a little bit more of this part that it should be the major part of my business, but I don't think I... I don't know, the last year was the first year that I was um, full-time freelancing, so I'm trying not to be so hard on myself, I'm still trying to see what works for me, uh, what not, and how I can do things and balancing things. Um, so yeah, still a lot, a lot has to be done uh, regarding that. I really need to learn to balance things a little bit more, but having these goals and writing them down, I think it will make everything a lot easier to put things into perspective um, and all of that. And the last thing I really want to um, have more time to do is to exploring the characters that I already have now. I think with social media and all that kind of things, um, we are forced to believe that we need to keep creating new things all the time, um, new collections, new ideas, new illustrations. And I really want to try to go back a little um, and try to improve the things that are already have um, and try to exploring them a little bit more like I love Steve I love Rocky I love some of the illustrations that I did but since I have this idea that I need to be constantly creating new things um, I basically don't feel like I don't explore them enough um, and I have to stop making new things just for the sake of doing them and try to enjoy the process and yeah try to explore the characters that I already have and love so yeah a lot of things that I want to do and improve um, and a lot of goals as you can see but I hope you enjoy following me along this journey and these goals of mine and I hope you enjoy seeing the process of them so yeah I'm going to <laughs> go back to the studio vlog and let you watch the, the rest of the video. It's already quite later, it's Friday, and I decided not to post a studio vlog uh, today, which for you is already in the past, but um, I wanted to film the whole process of the Patreon goodies. Um, even if I just showed the illustrations, I wanted to film like all the way through, that's why I didn't post. But yeah, let me show you what I did so far. So you saw me doing these sketches, I did this ones on Procreate and this ones here on the sketchbook. I've printed this out because um, I want to keep my sketches on a sketchbook even though I do them on like um like on the on Procreate or something and I'm going to start printing them out because I really like seeing the ideas coming together and I know if I just keep them on the iPad I'm never going to look at them again and if I keep them on a sketchbook I can just come here and see the process and maybe pick up some ideas if I need them in the future so that's why I printed them out and I'm going to start doing that for like every sketch that I do on Procreate um, to have like a log to look back to and and then I did this one, which I love, love, love. I just wanted to try out with like textures and stuff. I was having a lot of fun, so that's why I did this one. I'm not going to use it or anything, but yeah, I was having a lot of fun and I was on like a art um, <laughs> vibe kind of thing. So I did this one just to have fun and try out with materials and all of that. And today I went on the iPad. I have my laptop over here, laptop over here. Then I have this screen with my Pinterest boards. And then I have this, um, my iPad here. I'm using my XP Pen uh, tablet stand because it's really, really comfortable and nice. Uh, so this is the one that I did so far. I really, really love them. Um, 
I wanted to try with my style for a while now and I wanted to try with textures and try new things and I'm so so happy with a final result I'm really really happy with it um, and how my style is coming along I love him so so much and it's different from I don't know, maybe what I did so far, but you can still recognize it as my own, at least that's how <laughs> I think, but it looks so, so cute. And now I'm doing this one. I only started with the textures and all of that now. And then I'm going to do this one. Um, and I'm going to use this tree for like a full um, background thing. I'm going to try to start using my Patreon goodie boxes and the mini prints that I do to try out with backgrounds and also improving skills that I want to improve. So that's what I'm going to do. And I already did a lot of mini sketches that you saw me doing um, that are going to be part of the sticky sheets. I'll probably still going to be doing this one as well, but we'll see if I have the time. And yeah, I did all of these little cute little guys on the theme of the cottage, um, little mouse cottage. So yeah, this is how it's going to look. And I'm super, super happy with what I have so far. So yeah, now I'm going to record a podcast for Patreon and I'm going to uh, keep going with drawing and all that kind of things. I think I'm going to come in the studio tomorrow just to get a heads up on the illustrations and I'm having so much fun with it. I think it's the first time in a few months that I'm having a lot of fun with art again. And this is one of the things that I really want to, um, on my day to day, is to make more art and enjoy it and just enjoy the process. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm finally coming to a point on my day to day life that I enjoy and where I want to be, which is super, super cool. So yeah, I can't wait to try some more things out and finish this ones and keep trying to improve, just not make art and things and collections just to make them, um, make them with a purpose and having fun making them. So yeah, super, super happy with the process and what I made so far. And yeah, I'm going to keep working on that, record the podcast and I'll speak with you in a little bit. Let's go. Hello, it's now Tuesday and it's the next week. Um, not sure if I spoke with you already. I don't think so. So basically I'm going to put this vlog put together of two weeks um, so I can film the whole bit already posted on Instagram um, and you guys voted for a longer vlog so it will be like a two week vlog as you probably noticed so far already finished the illustrations for Patreon I still have to put together like um, a more detailed one with the background um, because one of my goals
goals for this month and I started to establish goals for the month on my Patreon and one of the goals for this month is to practice backgrounds and do a full colored uh, background. Um, I'm using this Patreon collections to improve those backgrounds and characters and animals and all that kind of things. So I still need to do that but while I do it um, I thought I could start doing and printing out the products for the Patreon box. So I already printed out the stickers uh, yesterday like the sticker sheets um, so I'm going to start cutting them and let me show you how they look so far. Okay here are the sticker sheets and I have <laughs> this many to cut um i decided that this month i wanted to do a five sticker sheets because i i don't know i took so long to do these uh little mouses um mice mouses i don't know um and they are so detailed that i thought that in an a6 um sheet they will get a little bit lost um even though i'm still going to print some uh, vinyl stickers to send with a box I don't know, I think you can see a lot more details. So all my patrons, like for the deer steer, uh, bears and whales will get this A5 um, sticker sheet. And I think it looks super, super cute. And I have to get going on cutting because this will take a while. This is actually um, the first time in a few months that I've sent so many little Patreon boxes, um, which is kind of sad, but yeah, I didn't send any boxes in December and because of that I had a lot of cancellations and I used to send out almost 70 boxes last year and right now I'm sending less than 50. So it's a really big difference in like the amount of products that I'm doing, but also a big chunk on my income. But yeah, it is what it is, but I don't think I'll ever do a stop on Patreon goodies like I did. And it's kind of scary to you now after that and seeing the result of that to only send out goodies every two months now but yeah i really need to focus um on prioritizing what i want to do and i was feeling really really burned out for doing the boxes and also creating things for the shop and all of that at the same time so yeah it was a really hard decision especially after december yeah it is what it is if you want this goodie box um you can still have it um, by the end of January. After that, you'll be able to get the goodies a few, I don't know, when I update my Patreon shop, because I've put some goodies over there after sending the, the Patreon boxes. But if you want the whole Patreon box with shipping included and all of that, um, you can get them on my Patreon. The values you see over there, it's already with shipping. Um, and all of that, you only have to select your tier. For the deer steer, you'll get the sticky sheet. For the bear steer, you'll get the sticky sheet, uh, mini print, vinyl stickers, um, and uh, an extra goodie that I'm still not sure which one it's going to be. And for the whale steer this month, you also get a pin banner that I'll try to do with you guys uh, still, and an exclusive pin that I also still need to make. So yeah, a lot of things to get going, but yeah, I wanted to talk about that because I feel like I don't talk about the lows um, enough and it's still amazing that I have so many patrons, it's still amazing that I have almost 50 boxes to send out and I'm so so grateful for that but yeah I wanted to let you know that it's all ups and downs and sometimes yeah you can still feel sad <laughs> when things get lower but proud of it but yeah I just want to talk about that and let's cut some stickers
I think you can hear the silhouette on the back, but look at them, they look so cute. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This, I think, I think I always say this, but this might be my favorite <laughs> sticker sheet that I did for patrons because, I mean, and now I'm considering <laughs> all my decisions for the shop because I think my illustrations look a lot better on A5 sticker sheets. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might have to reconsider that for the future, but let's continue making this because they look so stinky and adorable. Look at them. Yay! <laughs> These are done. I really really enjoy this sticker sheet and I love that I did the A5 size. I think it looks really really good. And then I did this final stickers. I also love the sizing of them. And this is the thank you card that I normally send out. Some of my patrons use it as like a mini mini print, which I love. And then I also already cut out these stickers to close the packages and all the kind of things. These are also done already, printed them out. And this is for the pin banners for the whale tier. I send them out every six months for my higher tier and I already have to press these ones out so that's what I'm going to do now and then mount them, so let's go! It's voiceover Bia over here again. I just want to let you know that I'm not going to be speaking anymore to the camera on this studio vlog. Um, unfortunately, I tested positive. I was feeling under the weather uh, for a few days, but I really thought it was allergies because I kept testing and they were negative. But at the end of this day, uh, work day, I got home and I do, did two more tests um, and one of them came back positive. So yeah, I just want to let you know what has been going on. I'm feeling okay-ish, <laughs> like I don't feel good, of course, but I'm okay, um, all things considered. And I just want to let you know what what's up um, and yeah, why I didn't finish this studio vlog the way that I normally do. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe but yeah this is me finishing one of the banners i still got around to make them uh, on my last last day in the studio and i really really like how they turned out they look so so cute and i can wait for my highest tier uh, to get them um and yeah, I'm working from home now. I have to do a seven day isolation pre period and I'm really looking forward to go back to the studio again because I just took some vacation. So I really, really was looking forward to get to work. But yeah, I hope you guys are um, here when I get back and thank you for bearing with me um, during these times. Um, if you like my content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps uh, supporting um, my journey on art and as an illustrator and if you like uh, my content and all my work please consider supporting me on patreon it's the only reason that I could call it keep calling this my job and it really really helps me to continue to make these videos to create art and all of that even on the lowest tier it really really means so so much more than I can ever say so yeah I hope you guys still enjoy this video I'll talk to you very very soon hopefully next Next week but i'll be back very very soon and i hope you guys are okay and yeah bye